Hi, today we're gonna look at procedural workflow in Substance Painter. Hi again, my name is Dyson, and today we're gonna discuss how we can add or replace object in painting texture pipeline. Okay, we have this model, and let's go to UV tab and unwrap that in Cinema 4D. Okay, unwrap. Now let's pack this. Okay, and let's export it to Substance Painter. Okay, we're gonna use FBX file. Okay, now we're in Substance Painter. We're gonna use UDM workflow instead of regular UV. Let's go to File and select our geometry. Okay. Now select our resolution of the texture and that's so important use UV tile workflow. Okay, uncheck unwrapping and okay And that's our model as you can see And let's see the UVs. That's our UV And now let's bake this mesh Okay, now we're gonna paint this so quickly and that's good for now and now let's go to file and export the texture here okay now let's select our location let me create a folder okay and i'm gonna use arnold template here because i'm using arnold render you can use any render engine as you want now let's bring this picture in Cinema 4D. Let's create standard material here. Okay, and let's put that into group for efficient way. And let's bring this picture a little quick. Okay. And now the normal map. And let's have a skylight and let's render that. Okay, as you can see, we have this model and our texture. Now the real party begin here. Let's suppose we have this object, the floor, and we're gonna add this to our scene. Okay, let's name name that floor and make this child object. And let's go to UV and let's unwrap that. Okay, unwrap and pack this. And now, as you can see, these UVs are overlapping. The floor is beneath our Tesla object. Let's translate that in X axis. And that's how Zudin works. We're gonna add these UVs in these squares by translating them. And now let's select our object and let's export that on the existing object in our Substance Painter. Okay, let's upright that. Now let's update our geometry. First, let me bring our UV to see the difference. Let's go to edit project configuration and select our geometry and let's hit OK. OK, as you can see, our UV tile is here. And now let's put this into folder. OK, now let's use this section to assign this folder to the UV tile or part of the object. Okay, and let's click on that. And now let's create another folder, flow, and let's assign material to it. As you can see, this material applied to all of the objects. Let's select our UDIM for it and as you can see our mask is not working always remember that to rebake your section when you update your geometry and okay as you can see the masks are working now okay now let's have decent paint on the floor object in meanwhile to support our channel do not forget to like this video and subscribe for more content thanks okay now pay attention to the this texture they have a number and let's export 
the object now okay okay as you can see the new texture will have a number 1002 that will be you deem id okay let's jump back to cinema 4d and let's render that as you can see our texture is messed up and the udim is not recognized by the arnold yet so let's go to material in the texture setting let's replace this static number by udim variable this will bring all the texture and assign them to object by the udim id you can use any render engine for instance octane redshift they have their rules for the udim okay let's see that and now everything works okay guys if you're interested to see more example in this procedural workflow please watch this video to the end and i guess that's it guys bye So welcome to extra section. In this section, I will show you more example and more issue to solve. That might be helpful for you. So for that, relax, have a coffee and enjoy the rest of the video.